This is the first shark to be caught in the cull off Western Australia. Moments later, it's shot four times at close range. It's then towed out to sea, gutted and dumped. I think it's very sad that uh, a country like Australia is setting such a bad example to the rest of the world. Richard Branson is the latest high-profile figure to condemn the policy. Last year, uh, Australia was praised all over the world for creating the biggest marine reserve around Australia. And this year, um, the world is looking, um, you know, looking at Australia and, um, and, and, and particularly Western Australia and wondering what on earth is going on. Others, like comedian Ricky Gervais, diver Tom Daly and swimmer Rebecca Adlington have added their voices to the anti-cull campaign. As well as removing some bait from hooks, protesters have also vandalised government buildings. But the state's premier says he has to do something. We've got the reality of seven fatalities in three years when we've only had 20 in the last 100 years. Western Australia is the world's deadliest place for shark attacks. The cull has caused much debate. I suppose in a way they have to do something or they get criticised for not doing anything about it. More patrols probably would have been a better idea. Protesters plan more beach demonstrations this weekend. They argue there's no evidence culls reduce attacks. No to a policy that indiscriminately kills our sharks. And after all, it's us who decide to swim in their territory. Jonathan Samuels, Sky News. Sydney.